All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to the second installment in my build of the Surf PI longboard. What we're looking at today is the portion of the circuit that is the transmitting portion. Okay, so here's the MOSFET here. It's a IRF 9640 and the main chip that we're, we have is a 7555. It's a, a CMOS chip. And what we're going to look at is the uh, transmit pulse width and frequency. So we'll take a look next at the, uh, what the waveform looks like. And then after that, we'll take a brief look at the schematic. Okay, so what we see on the scope here is the uh, transmit pulse width and frequency. You can see in the lower right-hand corner of the scope, we're at uh, approximately 631. Okay, so what we see in the scope here is the uh, transmit pulse width. And you can see the reading there on the lower left-hand corner. We're at about uh, 50 microseconds for pulse width. And we're running about, uh, I think, 631 hertz for frequency. So, how I'm reading that is uh, I've got my scope probe just across a, uh, a damping resistor. I don't, I don't have a coil hooked up to this yet. Um, I'll give you a shot of how I'm reading this as opposed to... I could also uh, put the probe on pin 3 of the 7555 see see the same thing essentially I'll give you a shot of the board next okay so uh, like I said I don't have the coil connected you can see there that I I do have the um, the header to attach a coil to but instead of a coil in lieu of a coil I just have a I think it's 500 and change ohm resistor so I, I just have my scope across that, and that way we can see the uh, transmit pulse width and also measure the frequency. So next we'll just take a quick look at the schematic, and we'll go on from there. All right, so as I mentioned before, I wanted to take a brief look at the uh, schematic and the specifically the portion of the schematic that uh, represents what we're looking at today so let me just draw a little circle around the portion a partial circle at this point um, so here's what we're looking at we're looking at the uh, clocking transmit here's the main IC it's a in my case I used a 7555 chip it's a CMOS chip um, over here we have the IRF9640 that's the MOSFET in the circuit and the 9640 is a p-channel MOSFET down here we have our coil connection and as I mentioned in lieu of a coil at this point I just utilized a damping resistor so that we could uh, see the waveform of the transmit pulse as well as see the frequency uh, in the next installment I'll attach a true coil and we'll be able to look at the flyback and the output of the preamp the only other thing of note here that I want to mention is that I changed R2 out and R2 as represented on the schematic here is a 3k3 resistor it's a, 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 a static value what I did was 
I put a multi-turn trim pot in here. I used a 5K multi-turn trim pot just so that I could adjust somewhat the um, pulse width, the transmit pulse width. I don't plan on doing any more um, modifications to the circuit, but I just thought I'd mention that. And in the next video, I'll just show you what I actually did and what it looks like. So that's it for this installment, guys. And I do thank you for watching.